Okay, let's begin a, a surface modeling in Creo. I create a part, okay, and let's say we for making surface modeling we'll use these tools, okay. So I'll begin first by sketching. I'll select this sketch. Let me make a circle. Okay, for now, uh, this circle. Let's say, let me make 500. Okay. So then I make the sketch. The surface case. All that I do is style. Okay. I use a style. All that I need to do is surface and select edge. Okay this particular edge and this edge it's create a rule surface for this by selecting this as one segment is another one okay and that's our surface style which show up here like a part three now we added the surface I have four six by six control nets so I will add this let's say by ten by ten 10 by 10. By creating these nets, I can move drag points vertically up and down uh, in order to to I think the moving normal will make it surface surface to be if you make this 0 0.1 so this is the adjustment if you put the mouse it will show you incremental move value <coughs> okay now all that we do is in the circuit of surface modeling drag this point normal to so you can have different option normal constant normal to plane if we do that we can just drag this point for example up and down up and down you can see the effect it's normal to a plane within that plane it doesn't change okay back to its place so if we change this to something else normal all right so let's see you can drag this up the bulge as we pull it, it will change. Okay. And then we can also bulge this up. Normal to a plane. Okay, we can use other options. Let me show that, for example, normal constant for example modify modify a portion of it okay in basics of this surface modeling is that it's just create create a net control net and pull them as needed so style one done okay and then you just check mark okay so you created this kind of shape and if you want to add another one you can also do by making another selection okay another selection then to solidify these things what do you do you make okay surface st with the style now all that I need to do is my part which is this entire guy and all that I need to do is solidify this okay when you select entire style this option says is gray uh, is 
activated then all that I need to do is add thickness to it so thickness let's say 5 unit then I created my part with some thickness now this is pure solid object with some thickness okay this sometimes surface modeling is needed for many parts for custom made freeform okay that's it this is one example